I was born in a place called Bihari, uh, which is the southern part of Punjab. And Punjab is one of the one of the biggest states, like Sydney in, in Australia. Uh, it's a big state in in Pakistan. Uh, All together, five uh, brothers and sisters, uh, three brothers, two sisters, uh, I, and I happen to be the eldest. Went to went to a different schools in in my in my life. Uh, uh, my parents decided to send me to, to the boarding house uh, very early in my age. I was only seven when I first uh, went to boarding house. Uh, uh, when my parents decided to send me from Bihari to, to Lahore, which is a, which is a bigger city, a uh, lot more people and a lot more happening. And uh, that was the first big step I took in my, in my life, or my parents took in, my, in, their, in their life to send their eldest son to a different city. It was, it was tough, it was not easy uh, because you know seven year old is, is, is not easy at all. I come from a very average family. Uh, my father used to work uh, in, in UAE which you can call Dubai now because Dubai is more famous now. Uh, yeah, and we used to live in, in, in Pakistan. We used to visit him uh, occasionally maybe once in, in, in few years. Whenever we were in um, uh, in, in Dubai, my father used to take me uh, to watch cricket in, uh, in, in Sharjah Stadium where I end up later on playing there. Uh, he never wanted me to become a cricketer. Uh, he actually wanted me to become a fighter pilot uh, because in my family we have got quite a few uh, members or, or you can say my uncles are, uh, are in Air Force, they're, they're, they're fighter pilots. So, so he wanted me to become one of those, but uh, I had uh, totally different ideas. In 1984 or 85, uh, uh, when we moved back from uh, from Dubai uh, back to Pakistan, my father or my parents uh, once again decided to uh, put me back in the in, in the boarding houses, and this time it was. Uh, uh, up in Bahawalpur, which is another uh, southern part of Punjab, which is uh, the school called Sadiq Public School, which is no doubt uh, one of the best schools in Pakistan. I was really lucky, uh, or it was a great decision by the by the parents that to put me in in that school because that gave me the opportunity to sort of. Uh, Blossom my my sporting abilities. I was never uh, never a good cricketer in my in my school days. School never played me. Uh, I was I was into more more into more into athletics. Uh, you know, playing hockey and soccer. You know, like any other kid who likes to play, you know, all kind of sports. But never uh, a cricket was never sort of uh, a number one sport for me. The destiny is going to take you somewhere. Uh, in, in grade nine, I guess uh, that's when I sort of, you know, bowling in the nets. You know, uh, not really serious about the game. And one of my coaches, uh, who is no more alive, uh, Mr. Gummy, uh, he said, "What are you doing? Why don't you just, you know, concentrate a little bit and, and try to bowl seriously?" And that's when I sort of got a little serious and uh, bought myself spikes and. Uh, you know, started sort of uh, playing a serious cricket, and uh, although the school still didn't play me, uh, but that was that was sort of a sort of a turning point where where I sort of sort of uh, thought that okay, cricket can be can can be my my future. He bowled him. That's a yorker. A beautiful delivery, really fast, ripped through the defences. And what a dramatic turn, a swing of the match to an even balance. The crowd on their feet, complete eruption of emotion here. Oh, that was a beautiful ball, my goodness me. That swung back an enormously long way. And it, my gosh, that was a good ball. And there's Imran Khan. He's not out there, he's feeling an injury, sitting in the stand, and no one will have appreciated that delivery more than he. And I dare say all those around him too. And uh, certainly the ladies, I think, too, will have realised that was a humdinger. It was a beautiful late-in swinger, much too good for Kurupu, 
and you're not often going to see, you're not going to see many better balls than that in the course of a season. Bowled most emphatically by Waka Yunus. Uh, I still remember the, the, the most struggling day of my life, even after playing international cricket. I still remember that day, that particular day when uh, I was asked to come to Saiwal, which is which is about more than 100 kilometers away from Bihari, to come and play the match next morning, and it was freezing cold. In those days, we never had the the facilities of cars and 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 the other vehicles and stuff. We used to travel in the bus, and I, and I I honestly didn't get a spot in the bus to to travel, so I had to sit on top of the bus to go all the way to Saiwal to go and play the game next very next morning, and. Uh, I got there, got ready in the morning, and got to the ground, freezing cold. It was winter in Pakistan, and uh, I came to know that I was I was dropped from that game. So I, those those are the more memories I still carry with me with myself because that really made made me a stronger person. I, I thought you know I'm, I've got to start working hard. Maybe I'm not good enough. Uh, I got to work work work, work harder, and uh, and. Those are the days which really, really, you know, pumps me up, give, give, still gives me goosebumps and, and, you know, and here I'm sitting after many years and I'm still thinking about it. The struggles my father went through in his early playing days. Well, the big hiccup came in my life uh, when, uh, in 1987, uh, uh, when, uh, when doing a silly thing, uh, I got my, this finger got uh, cut off. Uh, uh, me and my cousins were like, you know, kids are just playing around, uh, uh, swimming in the canals and uh, trying to jump over the bridge and doing silly stuff. And uh, and I got uh, my hand got stuck in that, you know, crossbar in the in the in the yeah, on on that bridge while I was jumping in in the water in the canal. And that uh, my finger just got chopped. I broke a couple of my uh, ribs. Uh, uh, also, uh, was. Out of cricket for about for about a year, uh, and I, I thought my cricket was over. I thought my my career was over because before that I played for Pakistan under 19 also, and uh, I never thought that I will I will play cricket uh, cricket again. But uh, uh, determination, I guess, uh, very I was very determined, and uh, once I was a little better, I started training again, and then and I thought I can I can do it without it and uh, I managed few years without it. I'm very thankful to uh, Imran Khan, uh, who, is a, who is a politician now, uh, uh, that he, uh, he picked me in my very early days uh, of, of cricket, because uh, in Pakistan you probably need to play a lot more first class cricket to get selected or get, get in, in the in the line to get picked for, for Pakistan and I was very very lucky that with my first couple of seasons I did well in first class cricket, I did well at under 19 level uh, but uh, Imran saw me uh, and, uh, and, and he thought that I had the talent uh, that was in 1989 uh, I never my, myself never thought that I'll get picked for Pakistan uh, and he, he decided to you know, take me to to Sharjah for the very first time, and that's exactly the same place Sharjah. When I was little, I used to go and and watch these guys play there. So that was another dream come true for me. It was uh, probably the most happiest uh, happiest day of my life when I got uh, picked for Pakistan for the very first time. Hold him. That is fast, turning out to be the most dangerous ball of this tournament. What one. That's what Sidhu will tell you, that's what Kapil Dev will tell you, and that's what Aravinda will tell you. What a lovely ball. Waka Yunus certainly won the day. A fine delivery. He's seen the back of some of the better players in this competition by a brilliant first delivery. Uh, I broke my back in 1992, just before the World Cup, which Pakistan won. Uh, I broke my back again in 1996. Uh, I broke my elbow once. Uh, uh, once at one stage, the doctors told me to sort of uh, give up the game because uh, because you know I, I, you know it was so bad in my in my back that uh, 
uh, it was I was struggling to walk at one stage you know the shetika was going through my legs and it was painful it was it was hurting but uh, I knew my I knew within myself that uh, you know I'll make a comeback and uh, and I did it uh, I, I I sort of uh, rested for about eight nine months and then started training again although the doctors told me not to but yeah i went against them and i thought okay it's one life i have to make the most of it so so i uh, i kept on training and eventually i came through i kept in pakistan after that for a couple of years and uh, i finished my career in 2003 uh, after the world cup uh, yeah, uh, you know, I managed to pick up, pick up uh, 373 test wickets. Uh, I managed to pick up 400 plus one day wickets, uh, more than 1,000 uh, uh, first class wickets. So I, 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 did, I did okay in, in my career. So very pleased with my, with my, with my career, uh, with myself. And, uh, and uh, the one thing I've learned with my career is that if you keep working hard, even if you're injured, or if you if you have belief in yourself that uh, you can you can do things, uh, nothing is impossible. I'm very happy with my with my 15 years of international career. Uh, uh, no regrets at all. Uh, maybe maybe if I have to think really hard and say any regrets, I would say 1992 World Cup, which Pakistan won. I missed out uh, just 10 days or 15 days before the World Cup. Uh, uh, my back uh, broke. Uh, I had a stress fracture in my in my in my back, and that's probably the only uh, regret I have that uh, I couldn't manage to be part of that team. But uh, but when they when they when they came to Pakistan, I was there to to sort of receive them, and the way they received uh, it was amazing. So I have no regrets in my life. Here are some interviews of some young cricketers talking about my dad. I played under his captaincy. Uh, such a positive uh, character, uh, always uh, enjoy playing tough cricket as a player, a tough competitor and always motivates you to perform well at international level. A man you can go on with, you can talk a lot with him about cricket or anything else. Um, in short, he's a very nice guy. And being a person, he's a very good person, very good man, very friendly. And I like it. As a player, you know what? He's a legend in the world. I enjoy a lot for his tenure and uh, uh, he's very helping for me in my career. Wakar Wai is a good coach and he's a legend and he's a player for Pakistan. He's a role model for youngsters. He's an excellent bowler. He's a great fast bowler with great skills. I love Wakar Wai. He's bowled him. Beautiful delivery. I think that was an off cutter. He's having a great time. That one nips back. 298 wickets in one day in the national cricket. It's no wonder he can bring himself to smile just a little bit. That was a good ball. It's a great honor for us uh, what Hussein Bolt have, uh, has said uh, about Waka Yunus. Uh, he used to watch him when he used to bowl for, uh, uh, for Pakistan cricket team and uh, the inspiration he got from uh, Waka Yunus. I think it's a great honor for all of us. I managed to meet some of my father's old friends. In fact, they used to play cricket too. I have played a lot of first class cricket with Waka Yunus. I have played uh, international cricket with Waka Yunus. When he got a uh, hat trick in Sharjah, I was also part of that team. He was a very hard working cricketer. He was a highly talented cricketer and he turned his talent into a uh, really a, a great performer and uh, nobody can deny from him. We played together, we really enjoy that with him, so, you know, he teaches nicely and uh, we learn a lot from him. Legend bowler ever Pakistan produced and he's a very good human being. In uh, playing days, he gave a lot of success to the Pakistan cricket team as it is outstanding bowling, like, uh, when he bowled the old ball and the new ball. Uh, he's been very motivating, a very hard working player and a coach. Uh, before when his, his playing day, he was a great star, but I think now he's a great motivator. Well done Vakar, keep it up. Hey Vakar Yunus as a human being, friend and as a cricketer. Uh, Bismillah Rahman Rahim. He's a brilliant guy. Uh, we were so lucky, me and uh, my my group fellows like him, Zamams, Akib, and all those guys. 
we were lucky to be, we were very lucky because we played together for age of 14 uh, when we were under 14 uh, and under 16 and under 19 and veterans trophy all the cricket we played for pakistan we played together and we were proud to be say that i'm proud to be uh, to say that you know like uh, i played the cricket with waka yunus because he was a legend of pakistan and uh, we learned a lot from him as a cricketer and he was a brilliant fellow great sense of humor um, you cannot get bored with his company uh, very very good sense of humor and overall is a good human being and i think uh, uh, from my point of view you know when somebody is the caliber of wakar yunus and he's got that humble uh, sense of humor and humble at etiquette about life so you cannot go wrong brilliant player outstanding match winners legend of the pakistan cricket uh, lucky to be play with them uh, one thing i learned which has helped my coaching how to ball reverse how to swing the ball uh, especially reverse swing Makar's two crushing in swinging yorkers especially during the death overs and one days became iconic and inspired a race in international cricket to master the art of reverse swing. Jaffi Stadium in Lahore where my dad played most of his cricket. Great to be a brother of Wakar Yunus. We have a difference of six years, and uh, he's always loving, caring, and supportive. Whenever I need him, he's always there. And whenever we come home, we have great quality time. And we will play cricket, and uh, he's always good in all sports. Uh, I don't have to talk about his trick much because you guys know he's a legend. He's a he's a, he's a big star, and uh, but I I can guarantee you that uh, he's. He, He's a, a lovely soul and uh, it's, it's, it's great time, great personality. Uh, the only thing that comes to my mind when I think about uh, Wakar Bhai is his honesty and dedication. When I say honesty, honesty in terms of uh, in every relation of whatever he's handled as a brother and as a cricketer in fact. He behaves very elderly at home. He's really supportive, helpful and concerned about all of us. So in a sense we are very lucky to have him as a brother. Uh, I must sum it up, he is a great brother as he is a great fast bowler. And is bowled it. Easily done by the Pakistani captain. Vakar Yunus has destroyed the stumps of Noin Zoysa. Excited to see all the trophies at the library, including the 1992 World Cup, which Pakistan won.